and we're live. If you've been if you've been smoking a lot and like you build up your tolerance from what I heard, at least from my experience and the explanation that I heard is uh, you like, you know, can smoke tons of weed or hash, whatever. I like to smoke hash. Um, and then you try edibles. You're ingesting it in a different way. So it's a whole yeah. new tolerance yeah. mechanism because it it's different. So, um, oh, I didn't know that. I found this whole thing that like, like, yeah, edibles could fuck me up. But I got this new thing I like doing. Woody, you should totally try it. Uh, is I call it getting scared. Bad advice and, incoming. And I, yeah, yeah. Totally. I know exactly what you're going to say. 100%. Okay. And if you're listening to this and you don't feel like getting scared because it sounds like bad advice, you're a bitch. Okay. Because I do it. <laughs> and, I, and honestly, I could be a bitch sometimes over things. But you know what? You got to just find the right time to get scared. Uh, and what you do is, and the whole thing is literally about being a bitch, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. is I got this like Tootsie Roll, for example, when I was in LA and it's like broken into six pieces and they're like, one piece will fuck you up. And everyone like, this is the craziest edible. So I ate the whole Tootsie Roll. <laughs> so it was like six times. Literally, it was like 300 milligrams. <laughs> um, and people take like five milligrams and they're like, I'm high. Or yeah. like, so I'm like, oh, I'm doing 30 milligrams. I'm going to get fucked up. Or like 50 milligrams, you know? Yeah. Um, so I'm doing 300. I, yeah, I would just take okay. the whole thing and I would be so fucked up. And I'm like, so I'm like in LA and I'm like walking to this movie with this this buddy of mine, this guy Eric, and he's got like long hair. I met him online actually, uh, which sounds crazy, but I met you fuckers online. That's too, how we met. Yeah. Like, yeah, so <laughs> it's his name online was Meth Syndicate. <laughs> and so I met him and he makes t-shirts and stuff and we were hanging out. We hung out a bunch of times, but we went and I'm like, yo, we got to get scared. You know, I got to eat all this. So I ate this whole tissue <laughs> roll. We're walking in LA and the sun's getting hotter and hotter. And then I get this stress. Like I got to get to the movie theater because at this, like it's in Hollywood. So the movie theater, like if you're, if the movie's at 3 PM and you come in at 3 Oh five, they don't let you in. And the idea of taking all these edibles now and being so high and not being allowed to get in, I'm yeah. like scared. So I'm like already like, we got to rush. We got to get there. We're rushing to the movie. The sun's getting hotter. I'm feeling it all. I'm starting to panic a little bit, you know? <laughs> and I turn the corner and a friend of mine that I haven't seen since like, like literally the 11th grade, like when we graduated mm -hmm. is there. And he's like, yo, Harley. And I look and he's like at the table with this like, like 65 year old woman. Who oh, instantly at a stoned glance is like hot enough that and or, or like she looked rich enough, but not hot. it was a combination where I'm like, is she paying my friend to be on this date? <laughs> like, yeah, maybe he's paid to be here. And he's like, Yo, you didn't what assume up? it was her mom, his mom. And I, no, I know him very well from oh, high okay. school. And I'm like, and he we live in Montreal also. So I'm seeing mm -hmm. him in L.A. And like, okay. you know, and I see him and he's there and I'm like tripping and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I can't talk to you now. I got to get to the movie and they're not going to let me in. I mean, he's like, yeah, hell no. <laughs> go, 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 whatever the hell you're saying. And I like stumble off. We get into the theater. We sit down right away and I'm just like, yo, like you get that vibe where you're like, no, nah, I can relax a little bit, you know? And like, yeah. we're waiting for the movie to start and I'm kind of like, I'm like, uh, like, I'm like I, I, it's like, I'm not getting, I didn't get a drink. <laughs> but I'm too scared to go outside to people and we didn't get a drink. And I said to my buddy, I was like, can you get me a water? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll get you just a water. I'm like, yeah, because he was going anyways. So he went, he got a water. He comes back. He gives it to me. It is like in this really fucking weird bottle. You know, I'm like, okay. I asked for a water. I open it up and I take a sip. I have no idea what the fuck it was, but it was not water. <laughs> it tasted weird and i'm like looking it up I'm, and the bottle looks like a vinegar bottle or something and it's like not hitting like water and i'm like <laughs> trying to drink it and i'm like it's not vibing with me there's i'm like worried about it and i'm trying to mm -hmm. look at the label when it's light in the movie but we're at a particularly dark movie i'm never getting the chance <laughs> and i look over at meth syndicate and i'm looking at him and he's got like his long hair and he looks at me like and I'm like, I don't fucking know this guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> he just brought me a bottle of vinegar. Literally, Jesus. literally. That's what, that like, explains I'm the hair. And this guy, like, what is it? A 
prank or like yo man is you like a what pint of vinegar what? that's so badass literally like i'm tripping out maybe what i have no it? idea and i'm looking at him and i'm like this guy's fucked up dude i can't believe he would fucking do this to me and like i, I like what was tripping. it what were you drinking the movie ended it was the movie theater's brand of water it was just okay. their brand, <laughs> brand totally it was water i was a stone fucking moron like bro i thought you poisoned me he's like we talked about i'm like i was so scared in the movie that you gave me Dude. something fucking weird well, why, like, oh, why, do you, why would i do that i was like, you wouldn't why are you recommending this experience to people it, he that called you getting scared i swear start to I, exactly i love it you come out of that shit like it's the same thing like going skydiving way the band less of brothers you know, oh, I'm you literally, i went dog. in there and i'm like i'm dying man i'm like this is fucked and i'm like i don't feel comfortable i don't want to talk to people i got scared once to a movie theater and i told my buddies i was like yo you gotta babysit me because i'm getting scared before this movie and we got there and like there was like 10 13 year olds and they were like sauce boss and i'm like, <laughs> like kids. and my buddies were like yeah it's the sauce boss. So they're like pushing me into these kids i'm like oh. and i'm like tripping hearts beating so fast going to walmart or something i get scared before and i like give them yeah. like my my card and she's like this isn't the right card so she's saying it to me in french i'm tripping i don't know i love it like complete power uh, this is why like i assume like some like super ceo dudes maybe want to get like like lose their power sexually and get like fucked or pegged or something like that this is my version of getting pegged is it I get after pegged by edibles it's just like fucked up i'm scared and i'm telling you woody you gotta try it out I, I I got the phone, right? like, but in the moment if, you're scared. It's you like it's something. like a roller coaster where afterward you're looking back, going, "I'm glad I did that." But in the it's moment you're panicking, right? It's, oh, you're type it's too fun. It's type two fun where it's not fun to live through. It's fun to re recollect. Just eat half Is that the what edible. That's type two fun. Yeah, I've just discovered this concept. There's type one fun. Sometimes it's deep. Sometimes it's real surface, like a roller coaster. It's fun in the moment. It's fun right now. Yes. But is it really emotionally enriching? It's type one fun. Sometimes How it about, is. Sometimes. Type two fun is that time you got a flat tire stuck in the rain, you and your girl. You hated it at the moment, but you look back and you're like, that situation was so fucked. And it, it's it's a fond memory, even if it wasn't a fond experience. Now, the, the difference is you, you usually you're born with type one fun. If you have too much fun, you can develop type two fun. And then you have to cut back on fun. I don't know what mm. you're talking about. It's like diabetes. Okay. <laughs> and then type three fun is just never fun. What if you get scared and you do something that's actually scary though? Like 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 what you'll if you'll be double up, you'll be scared. What if I scared? scared? Okay, yeah. What, I what if I take a hundred milligrams with zero tolerance <laughs> and then I go skydiving? That's to me would never I would never do that. You'll die. You'll actually just die. I don't recommend that. Part of being scared is you are doing non-scary activity. Like I'm going to a movie and sitting in the dark in the corner. I couldn't even get the water bottle myself. You got to have a chaperone or something like that. Like you can't like going mm -hmm. skydiving, bro, do it. That, I would love to hear about we're, it. <laughs> we're, we're talking about going skydiving in Denver. So it's like, yeah, for sure. Take 150 milligrams and try to stay awake on the way up. You're like, they'll wake you up. The like, it's your turn. You'll be like, Ugh. Okay. yeah, we're, we're I'm, I'm, I was thinking, I've been looking at like all the like random niche things to do in Denver while you're there. Like um, mm -hmm. I found this place that teaches you sword combat. Um, so it's like, it's like you guys want to learn how to how to fight with broadswords while we're high as fuck, and the instructor's totally gonna be some fake ninja <laughs> who wants to take it seriously. Center your center your chi. That's your it. Chief. Yo, so that's it. I'm going. coming. Now we're filming a show together. I'm coming. It's just be doing things <laughs> way too high. And we'll make it a point being like, it's not like doing a lot or how like we are on literally 300 milligrams. We can't even lift these swords and we are learning right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I found a place that does um, archery uh, where you they've got like these bows that have like soft tips and you shoot each other with them. You it's like paintball, but with bows. Um, uh, I was looking at hot air ballooning. Just um, imagining people, grown men running around at like 300 milligrams. Like Legolas. Like yeah, just running around trying to be people, just trying to exist. It's um, so hot, horseback hot air balloon, riding. Hot air ballooning doesn't sound like fun to me. It, uh, it doesn't, and it's crazy expensive. It's like two hundred fifty dollars a person. Horseback and riding what, doesn't seem like fun either. Have you guys ever done mushrooms? Yeah, I had a real bad experience. Not there. Enough um, for I'm to gonna happen. do them. I'm down to do them again in Colorado. I'm down to do just about anything. Why uh, was it a bad experience? 
people, the people I, I've around told the story you. before, but essentially, um, I, I went out in public on them. Oh yeah, and, you uh, drove. You drove the car with that yeah. with your girlfriend. Yeah, and you almost got arrested. Yeah, yeah. So bad yeah, experience. Yeah, that is bad. No, you should not. Do, you should stay home. Do it and stay, stay home. home or, stay home. Or go in like the woods or something or something like that. Yeah, or play with like fire or something. I, like I did it. I, I, I played myself. Math. I played Mass Effect. Like I took some mushrooms and I put on Mass Effect, and I went to like the squad select screen to like choose like 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 points where attributes will go. And like I have a big TV and this like super 4K detailed alien face. This guy Thane, if you know who Thane is, he looks like uh he looks like a, a fish dude. But Thane is like just badass looking, and he's huge, and he's sitting there, and he's like like blinking and like oh, he's looking terrifying. around. He's and terrifying. He, yeah, he, He's just existing and he's like, he's like, he just exists. And I'm like, this guy right here is like a real thing to me. And I'm just staring at him to the point that I actually had to just like get a t-shirt made of this moment of my trip. Like I actually tripped to the point where I was like, this needs to be memorial. But here it is. This is literally me recording the screen. And it was just this. Yeah, exactly. And here he is. You see him standing <laughs> there? Like, like when he's moving. It's like <laughs> exactly. And he's huge on the screen. And I'm like staring at him. I'm like, bro. He's blinking. <laughs> it's just fuck. And then I'm thinking like in the fictional world, this guy, like he, this is his species or whatever. And then you start thinking the developer like thought this up. Someone wrote this. And then another guy drew it. And then another guy made it in 3D. And I'm standing like in front of my TV, like just staring at it. I literally got a t-shirt. <laughs> I got a t-shirt with Thane on it like two days later. I was like, yo, this is my boy, man. <laughs> For like 40 minutes, me and this guy connected. We connected. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> see, that was like safe space. Staring at your TV at home alone. No, like, I did it in the, in the danger zone. Yeah, you man. went to like friendlies or something. Or like, where did yeah, you go? Yeah, I went to Walmart and passed out. And then I went to a barbecue <laughs> restaurant. Um, it, it was a goddamn <laughs> fucking nightmare. It's one of the worst experiences of my move. entire life. And I've had some. Uh, but but I think it's decriminalized. Psilocybin, I think, is decriminalized in Denver or maybe Colorado is uh, uh, on the whole. Oh, I didn't and, know. That. Uh, and so, like, oh, yeah, what do you got to do? Acid now. That's what we're talking about, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would do. I would try acid for sure. Um, I would try just about anything. I don't want to do meth because I don't like um, like like. Yeah, that's stimulus. a bad idea. Some are good. I'm listen. I'm not going to put. I'll, I'm sitting here. I'm like, yeah, eat 500 milligrams. <laughs> it gets scared. Yeah, don't get scared by doing meth though. Don't touch. Yeah, my I, 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 I bet it's a genuine drugs. scared experience though. <laughs> No, I, I I just don't think it would be enjoyable because like I've done Adderall and I like like that's like a, like the whole other thing like I want to do busy work like I don't want to do a drug that makes me productive <laughs> I want the opposite of that yeah meth? caffeine's more than enough for meth that. yeah I don't want to eat meth right. I don't know I um, imagine all the drugs feel good oh um, like if meth feels good feel they feel great, good in different ways be though addicted to like, it. like like it's this sort of energetic like like motivated to do stuff kind of scatterbrained kind of kind of high whereas well, like weed is just like relaxed and fucking people oh, always said that uh things. yeah i have a, a friend unfortunately an old buddy of mine and he had smoked meth and i was like what's that like and he was like like i was like what's it what's it like smell like taste like and he was like new, you know when you get a new car the smell of a new car i was like yeah he was like that's what it tastes like and i was like that's the scariest description to me that ensures i will never i was already never going to ever but i love that smell mm -hmm. I know, but do you want to drink it? No, <laughs> I kind of do. I mean, just a little of it. It's like chemically, no. It does. It smells very chemical to me. It smells like mm, yeah, I smell like so new car on the inside now. What is that or, smell? He, he it's glue, it plastic. What it's glue. glue. He, he told me that he got that uh, that that uh, uh, that like he would do meth and like clean his house. And uh, I remember, like, my friends would, yeah. you know, take Vivance or Adderall, and like they would so be like, "Yes, yeah, I get Jackie in my house." No, you could just get, Adderall. Adderall. get, get her Adderall? like Adderall or Vivance. <laughs> that's the same thing. That's literally what it is. Like, just that's it. Like, it, that, that your it's a cheap imitation of meth, is what it she's is. Gotta it, that, she's got to do it. She's got to do it. Big house. She's got a lot of clean. <laughs> 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 she tried grinding them up and snorting them. More, more. <laughs> you get mad at her. Stop picking at your face and clean the counters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry.